This is a lesson on other strategies for multiplying. So one strategy that you can use is doubling and repeated doubling um, to help you multiply larger numbers. So, for example, um, you could use doubling to multiply by 4. Fix that. Um, so, in order to find 4 times 9, for example, um, since you know that 2 times 2 equals 4, then you could multiply um, and find 2 times 9 first, because you already know your 2 times tables, I hope. And then you could double your answer, because 4 is double 2. So here is an array to display this information. So it shows um, two, ten, 2 times 9 first, which is 18. So we have one row of 9 and another row of 9 to show that this is 2 times 9. And then um, below we doubled this. So we, have, we found 2 times 9 and then we doubled 2 times 9 here. And then all of these counters all together equal our answer. So I have 2 times 9 equals 18, and then I have 18 times 2. Or I could say 18 plus 18 if I prefer, and that equals 36. Uh, one more thing, you can also use this um, to multiply and find um, 8 times tables. We would just have to double 2 times then. So if I had um, 8 times 9, then I would still find 2 times 9 first, and then I would double that answer, my, my 18, to find 18 times 2. And then with my 36, if I wanted to, fi to find um, 8 times 9 instead of 4 times 9, then I would multiply 36 by 2, or 36 plus 36, to find my answer. Okay, um, and that would give my answer of 72. So with doubling, you usually start out with 2 times the other number. As long as um, this is a 4 or an 8, it works really well. Okay, and then the uh, other strategy is a division one, and it's basically the opposite of the multiplication doubling that I showed you. And so it's called halving and repeated halving. So in halving, um, you need to... Well, basically, you do the same thing. So you have to have a 4 or an 8 here for it to work really well. And then um, you look at your big number. So if we had 64 divided by 4, we've got a, a little thinking bubble over here to help us. And it says 4 is 2 times 2. So to divide 4, I can divide 2 and then divide by 2 again. So this is the example. So first ignore this line right there. That line, put it away. Um, and it has 64 divided by, and then instead of 4, we're going to divide by 2. So we're going to divide twice with a smaller number to make it easier. So this is 64 um, counters in an array, and this line shows that it's been divided by 2. So to divide, to divide by 2, um, 64 divided by 2 would be 32. Okay, so I could divide 4 by 2, which is 2, and 6 by 2, which is 3, to get the 32. It's pretty simple. Okay, and then now that I know what half, then I take half of these counters and I split them in half again. So that's why this line is there. And so just looking at this one little corner here, um, that would be 64 divided by 4, all of these counters together. So that, in um, equation form, is 32 divided by 2, and that equals 16. Now, if I drew this out, I could also multiply, because I can see visually that this is um, divided into 2 and then 2 again, and then I could go 4 times 4 and find that this is 16. So there are many ways to think about it, but um, this is 1. So this is 64 divided by 4 would be 16. Okay, so this is um, a way to figure out without using a calculator because that's the whole purpose of this unit is um, figuring out how to multiply and divide without a calculator. I already know you know how to use a calculator. So if you flip the page, we've got two questions. We've got uh, use doubling to find 6 times 8 and we've got use having to find 96 divided by 8. 
So they are both eight. So you're going to, to have to use doubling and then doubling again or having and then having again. So you're going to start out with six times two and 96 divided by two. Okay, so pause the video, complete the questions and then replay um, to see if you've got it right. Okay, so um, this first question using doubling to find um, six times eight. So this eight is going to be a two first because I'm gonna have to multiply by two and then multiply by two one more time. Oops. So first of all, I need to go six times two and that equals 12. So I've done um, one of my doubling. Now I need to do my second double. So this is the first doubling. And here's the second doubling. Now I need to multiply 12 times two. So um, 12 times two, that equals 24. And sorry, we're going to have to double this one more time. Um, because this would be uh, times by four actually, as I come to think about it, because I've got two times two and that equals four. So I'd have to do one more to equal eight. Okay, so 12 times two is 24. So I did my second and um, this third one is important that I almost forgot. So step three would be 24 times two. Okay, so in this case, two times four is eight and two times two is four. So six times eight equals 48. Oops, it's not a very good circle. Just that. There. Okay, so that's um, using doubling to multiply, and we'll show uh, using having to find 96 divided by 8. So, similar process, we're going to divide by 2, and then we're going to divide by 2 again. And this, so 2 times 2 is 4, so we'd have to divide by one more time to make it divided by 8. So first of all, and this will be the hardest to step, it would be 96 divided by 2. Okay, so maybe you want to use an array to help you out with it. Okay, so here is my um, 96 dots. So if I were to draw a line down the center of it, um, and I could go either way, so I see that there's eight rows here. Um, so I will, oops, just get a new layer here. Okay, so I will draw a line down there because I know four and four is um, eight. And then all I have to do is um, find how many are in this one. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And there's 12 there. So four times eight, I mean, four times 12 is 48. Now, you might not even have to do this mathematically if you can figure it out pictorially. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. This would be my step two here. Okay, so I've got 48 here. And then half it again. Then that means I have four times six and that equals 24. So we've done this one. Second step, we're going 48 divided by two. And that equals 24 like we wrote here. So this is step one. This is step two, and we need to divide it in half one more time. So we'll divide it in half right here. And this will end up being our answer. Okay, so we've done this one, and um, we're almost finished the last division by two, so 24. 
oops, divided by 2, and that equals 12. And you can see here that I've got 12 dots. So check that off. So that means that 90, oops, not 8, 96 divided by 8 equals, that is not a division symbol, equals 12. So that's how you use that strategy to figure out um, division sentences. Your assignment is not on that page, um, right here. Page 78 to 79, number 1, 2, 5, 6, and 7.